Welcome to the channel. So there's been some comments about the weights that I'm towing, uh, specifically the last couple towing videos, where I'm towing my dump trailer and it's just an empty trailer, but it's not loaded with a lot of weight. It's not, it's not the max towing of the uh, truck. It's just the trailer itself. And people have said, you know, why are you impressed? Of course, it's going to tow the trailer just, just fine. The trailer's empty. Let's see this trailer filled to the max towing ability of the truck. And let's see what the trucks can do. And I want to respond to those comments because they're very legitimate comments. And I got a little bit of explaining to do uh, why I haven't towed more weight yet. So uh, here's our 19 Super Duty. And we've done some towing videos even with our uh, utility trailer here, which is rated for 7,000 pounds. But when we tow with it, we're only doing 2,500 pounds. And part of the reason for that is that is just what I happen to have on hand. So I did just make the investment of the dump trailer. And it's a really good thing because it really serves two purposes. I can use this for other things that I'm doing, things that I'm hauling, and it's a really good thing because I've spent a lot of time in a dump because usually I just use this trailer, just the utility trailer, and it just, it's a lot of time in the dump when you're dumping it where you got to throw everything off compared to the dump trailer. But I will say, having the channel and everything makes it more, uh, it just makes it better because now I can use this this trailer to reach those higher numbers and uh, do some towing videos. And having this does give me more of that ability because if I were to bring this trailer up to 7,000 pounds, I really have to figure out how to get all that material off of it compared to this trailer where I can just dump it somewhere. Now, that being said, I still got to figure out you know all the ins and outs because dumping... Uh, like 10,000 pounds worth of material is going to cost me. So I have to, probably what I'll end up doing is getting the material, something maybe like topsoil or something, uh, field dirt, something like that. I'll have to probably just pay for that, which is not expensive. And then I'll have to give the dirt to somebody who needs it, maybe at a construction site or uh, home demolition, something like that. And I'll just have to donate the dirt to them because... If you're going to have 10,000 pounds of dirt, you got to have somewhere to put it. So that's probably what I'll end up doing. And that's not too much money or too big of an investment. But at the end of the day, part of the reason is I just want to put the content out there. And if I put too many bears in a way, too many obstacles in a way, then I'll end up not putting anything out there. You know, if I have to have it maxed just to do a video, then... You know, really, how much time do I really have? I am busy doing other things, and j just having this trailer here means that I can hook up, I can put out, put out my video, put it together, I can put the trailer back, and be done. Now, I do plan on, you know, getting some more, some more weight in the trailer, but it's going to be a process uh, before I can, you know, it's going to be, you know, no, it's going to take some time, but it also helps to kind of ramp it up a little bit slower. Because if I go ahead and start maxing it out right away, then I'm not going to have nothing else to do. You know, starting off with the trailer empty, then adding some weight, and then adding some more weight, really, I think is the route to go. One thing I can do is I can add the mower to the uh, trailer, which is not too hard. This mower is going to be, this big one back here, is going to be like 1,100 pounds. And that would be, you know, a good weight to add. It would add... Um, it would bring the total to just over just over 5,000 pounds so that'd be cool hopefully that would be cool you know a lot of people are going to say that's not enough you need to go to the max you need to go above the max and it's like this is still a lot of weight guys you know 3,800 pounds empty is still a lot of weight but I will increase you know it's just I gotta I gotta take it easy I gotta take it slow and slowly ramp it up and I also got to think about the investment side of it. Just because I tow more weight doesn't necessarily mean it's better. Honestly, these videos where I'm just kind of doing a point and shoot and talk are actually better. But I do understand that I have to put out, you know, the heavy towing videos. So stay tuned, guys, because I want 
before I do the uh, before I do the video with the max towing, I want to get some more bass lines. I want to do some MPG test. Uh, I want to know if the 3.5 EcoBoost is as efficient as the 6.2, but I also want to know how the 2.7 does. I have a suspicion that the 3.5 is going to be more efficient. I know other tests have shown that the V8s are more efficient than the Turbo V6, specifically specifically the EcoBoost, while towing. But I think it's just because they're in the power too much. You're in the power band that a V8 doesn't even have, so it's hard to compare if you're getting on it, and then to say the 3.5 EcoBoost doesn't get as good of MPG while towing as a V8. A V8 can't put down low-end torque like an EcoBoost either. So if you drive more conservative, I, I, I think that it's going to put down better MPG. But I want to see for myself. I want to test that out. I also want to hook the 2.7 to this trailer to see what it can do. And, uh, you know, it's just... It is what it is. These videos, uh, they are for, more for fun. They don't make a ton of money. Actually, um, I am working on some merch. All this, uh, I want to show you guys what I've been working on first. Um, this is what I've been working on. Uh, I'm planning on selling these shirts for like $30. All the design and everything I've done myself. And I want to actually fulfill the orders myself instead of using something like teesprings where you know teesprings the quality to me isn't as good i've tested their product and i wasn't that impressed um i ordered a shirt from one of my favorite channels and really the stitching fell apart within like one wear i wore it one time and the stitching fell apart the print looked good but their material was real thin these are a hanes tagless tee this one's an extra large. Um, they're a tagless T. They're very heavy constructed. They're very good quality. I'm actually wearing these. I'm actually wearing these like every day. Uh, I'm printing my own shirts from now on just because I want to make sure that the product is quality before I put it out. Um, I think that the price of thirty dollars is a little bit more than what you would pay from like a Teesprings from a different channel or whatever, but the quality is way better than Teesprings. And when you really think about what they're charging, yeah, they might charge like $20, but their quality is so low, in my opinion, uh, compared to this. This stuff's high, high quality. But all the orders I'm going to fulfill, I know it's more work to actually fulfill your own orders, but uh, I would rather do that and know that I'm putting out a quality product. product. And then all the proceeds uh, directly help our family and directly help the channel. So doing these bigger videos are going to cost me a little bit more money. And this will help do some of those bigger videos. So tell me what you think about that. I also want to make some more designs that are a little bit more subtle. This is more like out there in your face. But I want to do something subtle um, as well. And some other designs. I could do I can do hoodies, hats, whatever. But I just want to start off slow. And then ramp it up. But more videos towing heavier weights are coming. Bear with me as I try to at least do some more. You know, I am busy. And I want to, you know, having a trailer here just means I can hook up and I can go. And I still haven't even done the 27 EcoBoost yet. So I want to do that soon. And, you know, it's just going to be a process. So bear with me. I'm going to pull in, pull up some heavier weights. It's just going to take some time so comment below tell me what you think about the merch uh i'm going to put together a website and everything so that it can all get done done in-house but comment below tell me what you think uh have a great day guys see you guys in the next video and thank you for watching over and out